Hello, it is Cookie Grand Salami Cutter here for some more Platypie Baseball here on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. And we have a good one today. The Platypie, your Platypie versus the Division Rival Wide Loads. And first things first, let's take a quick little peek at our lineups. For the visiting wide loads, we have playing shortstop and batting first, Masha Donga batting second, and playing first is Darcy Hicks. Harmony Strauss is behind the dish and batting third today. Hack Liner, manning the hot corner over at third, is batting in the cleanup spot. Wade Hobbs is batting fifth, and he is over in left field. Fungo Akira is patrolling center field today. And batting uh, six, batting seventh is Izzy Baker. Izzy's over there at second base. Hardy Zamora batting eighth and playing right field. And Holder Close is going to be the starting pitcher today. And he features a four seam fastball, two seam fastball, curveball, and slider. Now, on to your Platypi. Kitty Kaufman will lead things off for the Platypi today, playing second base. Hero Wugliams over there in right field. She's batting second. Beefcake McStevens at third base, batting third. Muffin Studwick over in left. He's in the cleanup spot today. Scooter Sandbrick is playing first base, batting fifth. Carrie Cartman playing shortstop today and batting sixth. Batting seventh is the catcher Jude Harrell. His battery mate is batting eighth today, Hudson Moyer. And Willie Bacon is out there in center field. Hudson Moyer features a four-seam fastball, two-seam fastball, curveball, slider, and a changeup. And now it's time to play ball here on this fine Sunday evening at Colonial Plaza. First pitch ball low. Strike one on the outside corner. Hudson Moyer has a 5.23 ERA, 150 whip. As that's grounded to Kerry Cartman at short, he'll field fire, and that's out number one. Uh, up steps Darcy Hicks. Now a 158 whip, and uh, 18 Ks on the year for Hudson Moyer. And now another ground ball. This one to Kitty. She'll backhand, fire to first, and there's out number two. Quickly, Harmony Strauss steps in. And there's ball one outside. Your plot up by 21 and 10 coming in today. Have already clinched the division as the 1 1 pitch is outside. And now this one flied out to Muffin Studwick and left. He will get under it for out number three. So nothing doing for the wide loads in the top half of the first. It's now time for your plot up to hit. And Holder Close has a 283 ERA on the year, 115 whip, and 18 strikeouts. And uh, once again, your Platypi have clinched. This is the final game of the year. The wide loads are effectively out of it, out of the uh, playoff picture. They are 16 and 5 coming into this one, and in third place, four games back of the uh, Platypi. As this one is rocked deep, but caught by the center fielder Akiro. They were four games back of the division, of the uh, division leaders, the Platypi, and two games back of the second place team. As that's now hit down the line, and that's fair! Oh, Wugliams is heading for second. The throw in from Zamora is not in time. So a, a one out double for Hera Wugliams, and that'll bring up Beefcake McStevens here with one out. And now that's grounded up. Oh, not up the middle. And now they have a Wugliams in a rundown. She'll stay in it long enough for uh, BK to, to get to second. So they'll essentially swap places. Not horrible as Beefcake is a slightly better runner. Now strike one to Muffin. This is a what would be considered a garbage game as kind of the last game of the season with nothing on the line for either team as that's going to be grounded to the shortstop, Donga, and thrown to first for out number three. That'll bring up Hack Liner, 272 average on the year, and he'll foul one off into the uh, Platypi dugout. Hudson Moyer taking a second here. He'll fire in a curve, and it's 
going to be hit into foul territory. Muffin is going to watch that one fly into the stands for strike two. The 0 2. Check the swing there. Ball one. Ball two inside. And there's strike three. Chisel him out of a block of ice. He's frozen. That'll bring up, bring up Wade Hobbs. And Moyer will spit there and fire and strike. One 90 mile an hour four seamer it looked like. Now that's grounded up the middle just past the outstretched glove of uh, Kerry Cartman. And that'll be in for a single here in the top of the second. Fungo Akira will step in. He's patrolling center field today. Runner on first, and that's foul. Might see a lot of substitutes today. That's strike two. Once again, garbage game, nothing on the line, and a few off days before the playoffs actually begin. And now that's hit weakly over to the right side, and Kenny's going to go to second. May have thought she did not have a play on that one as uh, Sandbrick tried to go for it as well. Hudson Moyer was looking like it would be pretty close. And we're going to take a re look, at, look at replay on that one. So here we go. And, uh, yep, as you can see, fielded. But, uh, yep, would have had plenty of time there. Don't know why Kitty went to second, but... That's a single up the middle. Willie Bacon will barehand it, fire home, and it's not in time. So the mental mistake by Kitty Kaufman will cost a run. Well, may have been a run anyways, but now we have runners at first and second again with just one out. Strike one on a good changeup. Up the middle and can't be stopped by either Hudson or Cartman. The throw comes home again, but this time it'll be cut off by Sam Brick. And the runners will play station to station. And here comes Holder Close. And that's a foul ball down the first base side. The 0-1 is a ball low. Base is juice for the opposing pitcher. That's a ground ball to Sam Brick, but just curled foul. 1-2 just off the outside corner. 2-2. Two and two. Whack back foul. Close is putting up a good battle here. I will miss low ball three. The three and two pitch. Oh my goodness. He just walked the pitcher with the bases loaded. It's now 2 nothing for Masha Donga, who's 0 for 1 on the day. 2 nothing wide lows. Now RBI to the pitcher. And that's a strike. Still just one out. The 0 1 pitch strike two. The payoff is low, ball one. Once again, the payoff whacked the other way foul, where a first base coach would be. The 1 2 once more, and that's going to get by him. That's going to get by Harold. And way late is the throw. Could not get to that one even remotely quickly. Now, and now another one's going to get past him. But what a play at the plate. What a play from, Jer from Jude Harrell to the pitcher Hudson Moyer covering their great tag. And we have two outs. Well, uh, let's see, the, the batter is walked. That was Donga. Now runners at first and second. Three nothing wide loads after that walk. Or sorry, after that uh, uh, wild pitch. And now the 2-0. To Darcy Hicks and risking loading the bases again and that's exactly what he'll do here and uh, Harmony Strauss will step in 0-1 or 0-1 for 1, and uh, she'll take strike one here with two outs in the top of the second inning wild inning and that's grounded straight to Cartman he'll field fire and gather for out number three so three runs come home to score for the wide loads. And then now Scooter Scamberg will lead things off and holy cow did he send that one a long way but to the warning track Akira makes the grab for out number one. Now that's up the middle. Base hit for uh, let's see 
I believe that was Beefcake McStevens. Oh no, I would be mistaken. That was Kerry Cartman. And now Harold gets just gets this one just in. Sorry, my struggling for words. Runners are going to be at first and second now with one out. Moyer is in the batter's box, but he is taking a second here. And Cookie might be making a decision on whether or not he should uh, sub the uh, pitcher out. And he's going to. Sky Rodriguez is going to pinch hit here. 342 average on the year. As she whacks that one foul. Three homers and 17 driven in. She'll look at that one. Ball one high. The one and one with one out. And that's ripped out the middle. Off the glove of the diving shortstop. Donga. All the way home comes Kerry Cartman. It's a three to one ball game. For Willie Bacon in the nine hole today. One out runners at first and second again. Strike one. Way ahead of that change. Or sorry, I don't even know what that was. Probably a screwball. Now that's a routine double play there. Five, four, three, and that'll send things uh, into the third. A new pitcher, it's gonna be Rufus Zumar. He has a 5.32 ERA. That's lined into right center field. That'll split the alley. A wagon into field fired in, and that's a leadoff double. Uh, Zumar now a 157 whip and 18 Ks. He features a four-seamer, two-seamer, forkball, curve, and slider. And now the 1-1 pitch to Wade Hobbs. Wide loads a uh, left fielder. Now that's grounded past the diving beefcake. Muffin will get it in quickly, however. And runners will be at the corners with nobody out for Fungo Akira. Akiro, my apologies. And he'll spit on that 0-1 curve. And whack back that one foul. The 1-2 pitch. Foul again. Here comes the payoff once more. And that'll miss outside. 2-2. Two and two. And just missed it, that curve. They're going to go upstairs it looks like. And oh, just missed inside. Was not where Jude Harrell put that target. But it's where it ended up. Now base is juiced with nobody out. Izzy Baker up. He'll take strike one. A one and one count now. And now that's a weak little pop just past Scooter. That one had some carry to it at the end. The payoff to him. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Huge K there for Rufus. Oh, but it's all for naught. As that's going to be lined into center field. One run will score. They're going to wave home on second one. It's five to one. Wide loads. A two RBI single for Hardy Zamora. And that will bring up Holder Close again. Who will fire in ball one. Or sorry. Rufus will fire in ball one to Holder Close. Trying to lay down a bunt. And that's three straight balls. Rufus. Roof is really trying to focus here. He's taking a second. Defense has shifted to a bunt defense, and now he'll get that bunt down. Right back to the pitcher, but just soft enough to get the job done. And there's out number two. So Masha up here, 2-0 quickly to her. She's got, Her team's got a four-run lead now. And there's a strike just dropping in with the fork ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Down in the dirt. Good stop by Harrell. The 3-2 pitch. Popped up. Right field. Hera waves off Bacon. And she's got it. Four out number three. But not before a couple runs come in to score. It's now 5-1 to one wide loads. And Kitty Kaufman. Sam stepping up to the plate here. One and one count to her now. Definitely a, st a speed demon. Could uh, get the pot of pie back into this one, but not with that. As that's going to be back picked and thrown to first for out number one. 
And that's lined past the second baseman, uh, Baker, sorry. Baker, Izzy Baker. And that's a base hit for Hera Owuglams, who now it looks like is going to get subbed out. And yes, it'll be Linda Hand going into pinch run. And that's hit right on a shot to Donga. And she's gonna trap it, fire to second, dropped by Izzy Baker. And so they'll still get the out at second, but Beefcake will be safe at first. Well safe, in fact. And now that's popped up on the infield by Muffin Sudwick, and that'll end the inning. So the error doesn't come back to bite the uh, wide loads here in the bottom of the third. We head to the top of the fourth. Linda Hand now playing right field where Hera was. And now that's hit, popped way back there. Bacon on the track and will make the grab for out number one. Up steps Strauss, and that's a great diving stop by Scooter Sambrick, and there's out number two. Now with two outs, nobody on is Hack Liner. Much better inning thus far for Rufus and last one. And now one and two count. The payoff pitch. Just missed outside with a what appeared to be a slider. The 2-2 two -two swung through the fork ball for out number three. So nothing doing, one, two, three, go the wide loads in the top of the fourth. Here to lead things off in the bottom half of the fourth inning is Scooter Sambrick. It'll hit a weak little pop-up, well foul. And now that's a grounder to Donga. Schofield fired to first, and there's out number one. Kerry Cartman will step up. He got a hit in his last at bat. Also scored the lone pot of pie run. And now that's grounded to Donga again. And there's out number two. And now it appears we may have a substitution. And Cookie, the Plata Pie manager, will actually elect to not substitute Jude Harrell out. So he'll fall down, or even the count, I guess, one and one. And now that's whacked back foul. The payoff from Holder Close is launched deep into left center field. That ball's going back, back. High off the wall, above the Banco sign. Jude Harrell will glide into second base with a two-out double. Up steps Rufus Zumar. We'll see if they decide to keep him in, and they will, and he'll pop in into center field. And under it is Akiro, and he'll grab it for out number three. But not before, well, not much of anything, just a two-out double. And uh, we're going to have another substitution here. And oh, Chocolate Chips, have we got a doozy of a substitution for you. If you're keeping score at home, you're going to have a messy sheet out for this one. But it is a garbage game. Quickly, a base hit up the middle to the new center fielder, Linda Hand. And I'll explain that in just a moment. And holy moly, Linda Hand will be batting second now where Harold Wugliams is. Or was, as that was mentioned before. As that's a great double play. No! Into the, into the dugout for the Plata Pie. So one out, runner on second. Linda Hand subbed in earlier, but she's actually moving over as that's grounded into right field. Harold, who's now in right field, will fire it in, but it's not in time. Up steps Hardy Zamora. Uh, Linda Hand is now in center field. Tugboat Thomas is now batting ninth instead of Lee Bacon. He was substituting in as that's going to be a stolen base. Thomas is now playing first. Chase Tabule is now catching. And uh, he'll be batting in the fifth spot where S Scooter Sandbrake was. That's just past the diving glove of Kaufman, and they're not going to test Dude Harrell this time. Rory Crowd is going to come in for Muffin Studwick and play in left field, and I believe we have all of them. The defense shifting around alignments, and that's going to be just foul. To hold her close, Runner is going swing and a miss. The throw is going to come into second, and Cartman's essentially just going to cut that one off to prevent and to prevent a. Uh, a steal of home, but the the runner, the batter did get struck out. My apologies there. Now the one and one count, low and a liner to Kaufman. She'll pick it off the ground, 
And luckily only one run will come in to score this inning. As now with a 6-1 wide load lead heading into the bottom half of the fifth inning for Tugboat Thomas. He'll hit this one to Masha Donga again. She's getting lots of reps in this game. And that's going to be out number one. Now that's popped way back there. But just in front of the warning track is Akiro. And he will make the grab for out number two. Which will bring up Linda Hand. And she'll take a look at ball one. Rip this one just foul. Now one and one. Plenty of time left in this ball game. The payoff pitch is going to be hit weakly back to close. He'll field and fire to first, and that'll end the inning. So nothing doing. We'll head to the top of the sixth inning. And there's ball one just outside. Now that's popped into right field. Lined, I should say, and that's going to be just out. Mamma mia. That was hit harder than a green shell in Super Mario Bros. And now... Uh, let's see, Remington Sharp is going to come in to pitch for Rufus Zumar. A 2.19 ERA on the year, a 1.14 whip, 11 Ks. He features a four-seamer, two-seamer slider, the payoff pitch to Strauss. And holy cow, these pitchers do not let me get their stats in edgewise. The 3-2 is going to be grounded to Cartman. He'll field, loop it over to first, and there's out number one. Seven to one wide loads. And now that's hit up the middle for Linda Hand. She's going to actually fire it into first. Well late, of course. Probably trying to get the runner napping, rounding the bag. Now there's ball one to Wade Hobbs. And now one and one on that whacked back foul. And swung on him is strike three. There's Remington's first K of the day. Twelfth of the season, and there's strike one to Fungo. Who will whack that one foul. O oh and two. Now that's lying just past the diving Kaufman. And there'll be runners at first and third now. With two outs, Izzy Baker will step in. Number seven hitter. And there's a ball low, one and one. Whacked back, one and two. Trying to set up with a slider down and in and not gonna work. We'll see where he goes this time. He's thinking about it. Upstairs and swung on and miss a 97. Another K in the game in the inning. And Remington Sharp will silence the wide loads after a leadoff solo shot. And now that will be grounded up the middle by Beefcake for a base hit. And Rory Kraut will get his first at bat of the day. Remember he came in as that's a stolen base attempt, but it would get fouled off. He came in for uh, Muffin Studwick. No try there by Beefcake, and it's one and two. The payoff is going to be popped way up in the infield. Masha Donga is under this one, and she'll make the grab for out number one. Here comes Chase Tabule, his first at bat in this one as well. And steer right to the 0-2 count. Beefcake kick is going, and oh, this is going to be a double play. Izzy the first after he stepped on the bag, and that's out number three. A uh, 4-3 double play there. Do it yourself. And now quickly 0-2 here in the top half of the seventh inning. Swung on a miss. Holy cow. Remington Sharp just said good morning, good evening, and good night. And he's going to try it again here. Oh, but can't get that strike three. He'll get it there, though, on four pitches, though. And just seven pitches, we have two Ks. Which will bring up Masha Donga over through the walk. Remington already four Ks in this one. Now that's lined 
to left field and Rory Crouch will make the grab for out number three. So nothing doing, one, two, three, go. The wide loads in the top of the seventh. We're headed to the bottom half of the seventh inning where Kerry Cartman is gonna lead things off. He's one for two with a single. Holder close, still in the game, and he's gonna get rocked there, but caught by Hobbs, out number one. Only uh, 56 pitches, now 57, as that's hit the other direction, and will not quite drop in there. Zamora will grab it for out number two. Remington Sharp, he's gonna stay in the game, it looks like. He'll check his swing for ball one. He does have a 1,000 batting average on the year. So, you know, best hitter on the team. The 2-1 strike, 2. I'm sure he's telling everybody that, 2 and Oh, my goodness. He's going to get another hit. Remington Sharp keeps the 1,000 batting average. And now Bill Bowser will come in uh, to pitch. Holder close could not get through 7 as he gives up a hit to the relief pitcher. Remington Sharp, who you know is going to boast about that hit, keeping him at 1,000 on the year. He's gonna tell all those uh, position players on his team that it's easy as pie as uh, Tugboat strikes out there to end the inning. And the hitting champion for the pot of pie out there on the mound, one and one quickly. And he can hit, can pitch. Let's see, lots a hit there that time. Uh, hey, watch out, he might be the next Shohei Otani. Strike one to Harmony Strauss. Strauss. She's gonna line this one well foul, but hit it pretty good. Now that's lined up the middle on a, well, I guess I shouldn't say line, but up the middle for a base hit. More like a very hard grounder that kind of hopped back up. And now Remington, his day will end in favor of Kamari Roundhouse, who has a 328 whip that's just foul, sorry, 328 ERA, 130 whip, and 13 Ks. Features a four-seamer, two-seamer, slider, and curveball. The 1-1 one, one now, grounded to Tibule. Oh, sorry, low liner caught on the fly by Tibule for round number one. Thought for sure that was gonna hit the ground, but it just kept on flying over to uh, Tibule over there, and he'll make the grab. So runners at first and second, one out now, and three and oh to Wade Hobbs. And he'll get walked on four pitches. So a time where maybe that double play would have been more useful. But here we are, ball one. Tabule actually could have dropped that and created the double play, but instead the, the base is loaded, that's a hit. One run's gonna come in to score easily. It's eight to one, bases will stay juiced as they'll play it just station to station. Now bring up Izzy Baker who lined one to Tabule and he'll make the grab for out number two. He'll fire it home for some unknown reason. And now with two outs, runners all around the pond. And quickly 2-0, and and that's hit back up the middle for a base hit. One run's gonna score, Linda's gonna fire into home, and just late at the plate, it's 10-1. Wide lows making this garbage game even trashier. But Cartman's gonna snap this one out of the sky. Four out, number three. Not before a few runs come, in, come home to score. 10 to one, and now great play over there by um, by uh, Darcy Hicks. That swung on a miss by L Linda Hand for strike one. She'll hit a little looper foul. And now that's gonna be a little looper in for a base hit. She couldn't quite make solid contact, but solid enough to get a hit on that one. Now bring up Beefcake McStevens. Do whatever you can here. Bloop and a blast. The old adage. Unfortunately for the Plata Bay, they'll need much more than a bloop and a blast, but that'll help matters if that's a base hit for Beefcake. And she'll bring up Rory Crowd with runners at first and second and one out. RBI chance for him. He's going to hit that foul. Not too many chances on, for him on the year. Mostly a pinch hitter. The 0 2 to him. It's going to be grounded foul. 
And Leonard are going. It was a perfectly executed double steal. And Rory will ground out, but both runners will be able to advance safely. Runners at second and third now with two outs. A heck of a, a steal. They would have probably both been safe. Even if there had been uh, no swing. Quickly now, two and one to Chase to Bule. Normally a catcher, but playing first base. Subbed in for Scooter Sam, but no injury. Just a bunch of sub outs. Uh ahead of the playoffs as this is the last game of the season and now Izzy will bury and in fire to first for out number three. Kamari Roundhouse backdoor curve strike one. One and one now. Now that's a little liner and just enough on that one to get over the uh, jumping glove of Chase Tabule over at first. And we have runners at, uh, well, a runner at first with nobody out. Darcy Hicks, the batter, here in the top half of the ninth inning. 3 0. Steve right, 90 right on, right at the knees. Now that's going to get grounded through the uh, left side hole. And that'll make it uh, runners at first and second with nobody out and uh, Hugh Jacobs is going to come in to face Harmony Strauss here. Likely the last inning, barring an absolute miracle. And now that's gonna be hit hard into left field or Roy Crowd will get in quickly. So the runners will have to play it station to station. Bases juiced with nobody out. We've seen this story a lot today. Unfortunately, only on the wide load side. And now way ahead of that curve, whacks it back foul. They're gonna go up there again. Is it the curve? No, it's the fastball. Whack back the payoff once more. And the dirt, good stop by Tugboat. The two and two pitch. That's hit a good way out there to Harold and he will grab it right in front of the fence. Right in front of the fiber, a holy sign. A run will score but saved a few more. There's ball one low. Jude Harrell, even though he uh, is a catcher by trade, can easily play the outfield position. Just hasn't really gotten a chance to this year, but that was part of his main appeal for the uh, Plata Pie when they, when they uh, obtained him. And now that's hit up the middle for a base hit. It'll be 12 to one wide loads. And now a line drive not hit super hard and Linda Han will make the grab, only having to make a few steps to her southwest. And there's ball one low and outside. 2-0 now to Izzy Baker. Made a great play last inning and now that's a liner scream shot right into the glove of Jude Harrell to end the top half of the inning. We head now to the bottom of the ninth. Leading things off is Kerry Cartman. Let's get some base runners. Make this thing interesting. Why not? Last game of the year. 11 run deficit. 2-0. 3-0 now to Kerry Cartman. Here, Bale Bowser in the wide loads. You're thinking, why? And now, uh, with a walk, now you're thinking, why did you just walk the leadoff hitter in an 11, with an 11 run lead? And there's Strike just catching the corner. I think the uh, home plate umpire wants to get home a little early. After that walk, thought he would. Now that's hit. Oh, tried the double steal. Oh, he's going to miss the tag. He's going to miss the tag out at first still. But the hit and run will still work. He hit it just shallow enough. Hugh Jacobs is going to have to stay in the game to hit here. And he'll pop one up. Nobody left on the bench. So Hugh Jacobs will have to hit. And he'll pop out here to Akira for out number two. Still can't over, get over the fact that Izzy missed that tag. Just a weak enough hit as that one goes foul. To draw him uh, to draw him too far away from the runner. Now it's hit the other way and caught on a dive by Darcy Hicks. Unfortunately, your Palatapai are the losers today. The Bucks scored 12 runs, 21 hits, and no errors for the wide loads. 
And your plot up high, just one run on 10 hits and two errors. The winning pitcher is Holder Close. He went six and two thirds innings, scattered eight hits, one earned run given up, and that was a heel improved to one and two. Hudson Moyer went just two innings, scattering four hits, walked three batters, gave up two earned runs, and went and struck out just one batter on the day. And unfortunately, the players of the game all wide loads. Hardy Zamora went 4 for 5 with 4 RBIs and a stolen base. Darcy Hicks at number 2 went 3 for 5 with a homer, RBI, 3 runs scored. And Wade Hobbs went 4 for 5 with an RBI and 3 runs scored. And that'll do it here tonight. Unfortunately, your platypi do fall. However, join us next week for some thrilling playoff baseball. Under the lights, our first matchup. We'll find out who we're playing in the playoffs next week. Despite the outcome, I hope you enjoyed this lovely edition of Sunday Night Baseball here at Colonial Plaza on the Classic Cookie Gaming channel. And until next time, head outside to play some amazing games. I'll see you next week. This is Cookie Cutter signing off.